Hey there, how's it going? Hey, I'm doing great, thanks. How about you? I'm good too, thanks. You know, I was thinking about how far we've come in our English. Proficiency since we first started learning it, it's been quite a journey, hasn't it? Absolutely. Remember, when we struggled to. From coherent sentences, it feels like a lifetime ago. Definitely, but now, here we are, having conversations in English. Without even thinking twice about it. How do you think we manage to become proficient in English? Well, for starters, immersion played a huge role for me. I tired to surround myself with English as much as possible. Watching English movies, listening to English music, and reading English books helped me a lot. How about you? I completely agree. Immersion was key for me too. It helped me get used to the rhythm and flow of the language. But apart from that, I also made it a point to practice speaking with native speakers whenever I got the chance. It really boosted my confidence. That's awesome. Speaking with native speakers is definitely a game changer. I remember feeling nervous at first, but with time, I become more comfortable and started to pick up on nuances and colloquialism. Exactly. And let's not forget about the importance of formal education. Talking English classes not only provide us with structured learning, but also helped us understand grammar rules and vocabulary in depth. Oh, absolutely. Learning the grammar rules laid a solid foundation for me. It helped me understand the structure of sentences and how to express myself more clearly. For sure, and you know, what else helped me keeping a journal? Writing down my thoughts and experiences in English every day forced me to think in the language, which ultimately improved my writing skills. That's a fantastic idea. I should start doing that too. Writing consistently can really make a difference. It not only impresses your writing, but also helps reinforce vocabulary and grammar concepts. Definitely give it a try. It's also a great way to track your progress over time. I look back at my old journal entries sometimes and it's incredible to see how much I've improved. I'll definitely do that. Hey, do you remember using language learning apps? I found them quite helpful, especially for vocabulary building and pronunciation practice. Oh, yes, those apps were a lifesaver. I used to spend hours on them, especially during my commute or downtime. Exactly, and the best part is that you can use them anytime.
anywhere. It's like carrying a language tutor in your pocket. Absolutely, and speaking of tutors. Online tutoring platforms were another resources that really helped me to focus on my specific weakness and receive personalized feedback. That sounds fantastic. I never tried online tutoring. But I can see how beneficial it would be to have. To have someone guide you through your learning journey. It was definitely worth it for me. Plus, it's convenient since you can schedule sessions according to your own availability. I'll have to look into that. So, looking back at our journey to English proficiency, what do you think was the most challenging part for you? Hmm, that's a tough one. I think overcoming the fear of making mistakes was quite challenging for me. I used to worrying too much about sounding perfect, which hindered my progress. I can relate it to that. It took me a while to realize that making mistakes is a natural part of the learning process once I remember that mindset. I became more confident in my abilities. Exactly, and the more I practiced, the more I realized that people are generally understanding and supportive when you're trying to learn their language. Absolutely. People appreciate the effort you put into learning their language. Even if you're not fluent. It's all about communication and making an effort to connect with others. Well said. So, what's next for us on our language learning journey? I think it's important to keep pushing ourselves out of our comfort zones and continue challenging ourselves with our new vocabulary. Mastering complex grammar concepts or practicing speaking with different accents. There's always room for improvement. I couldn't agree more. Let's keep striving for excellence and never stop learning. After all, the journey to English proficiency is ongoing. And there's always something new to discover. Cheers to that, and thank you for being such a great language learning buddy. It's been an incredible journey. And I'm grateful to have had you by my side every step of the way. Likewise, here's to many more years of learning and growing together. We have come a long way, but the best is yet to come. Absolutely, I can't wait to see where our language learning adventure Take us next. Until then, let's keep practicing and enjoying the process. A great talk to you soon and keep up the fantastic work. You too, take care and keep shining bright. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe.